Hello, my name is Dr. Holman. I'd like to introduce to you the Central Valley Medical Center Total Joint Video. This video has been assembled by many here at Central Valley Medical Center. This includes our physical therapy staff, our OR crew, as well as the nursing staff and discharge coordinators. We hope this will help you as you prepare for your total joint replacement at Central Valley Medical Center. We hope this will help to alleviate some of your anxieties as well as help you to anticipate the road ahead. We appreciate the opportunity to take care of you and to serve you. We appreciate the trust you have in us here at Central Valley Medical Center and we hope you have an enjoyable experience with your total joint replacement at Central Valley. I'm Alan Kennison. I'm a farmer and I live in uh, Lavan, Utah. I had my hip surgery approximately two years ago at Central Valley Medical Center in Nephi. The thing that I appreciate the most about that is uh, Dr. Holman's concern. I had had a heart attack 10 years ago and he made sure that I was healthy enough to undergo the surgery. Uh, he had regular follow-ups with me to do x-rays and to check my progress. I had heard about Dr. Holman, so I come to talk with him at the Central Valley Medical Center, and we talk about replacing uh, a full replacement of my knees. He showed me what had to be done. I think the thing that I liked the most about uh, having it done at Central Valley Medical Center was that it was close. My wife and family could visit with me frequently. Uh, the doctors and nurses, those that cared for me after the surgery, were very helpful and considerate. I uh, was just amazed at how well that I was taken care of here at the hospital. I would recommend this hospital to anyone, and anyone that is going to have surgery done in knees or hip, I would recommend Dr. Holman. Since my surgery, the hip has given me no pain. I can't tell it from the other, other hip. I'm able to work and uh, hike, do the things that I enjoy without any pain or restriction. I knew if I didn't have something done, I could not negotiate the steps at the Mantai Temple. I have no problem. Fact is, I can take them two at a time if I'm in a real hurry. Four weeks after my surgery, I was walking unassisted uh, six to seven weeks after my surgery, I was able to resume, resume my regular work week doing all the activities that I do as a farmer. I have never been so thankful for something in my life as I was when I had these knees done. I can still run. I am thankful beyond measure for what has been done for me by Dr. Holman. Hello. My name is Ron Christensen, and I'm one of the physical therapists here at Central Valley Medical Center. Our goal in creating this presentation is to help you prepare for your total joint replacement surgery, to help you understand what you can expect before surgery and the days following, and what you can do to make this experience as beneficial as possible. If you are considering a total joint replacement, you are probably experiencing pain or maybe having difficulty doing some of your regular activities. In most cases, total joint replacement can be a good treatment option. However, only you together with your healthcare professional can decide the best course of treatment for your condition. Now, let's walk through the process of having a total joint replacement at Central Valley Medical Center. Once you have decided to schedule your surgery, Dr. Holman's office will provide instructions on things you will need to do and things you will want to avoid prior to surgery. The day before your scheduled procedure, you will receive a telephone call from the operating room nurse with instructions and the designated time that you should arrive. On the day of your surgery, when arriving at the hospital, check in at the nurse's station. There will be staff to assist you. You will change from your regular clothing into a hospital gown. You will be asked to sign consent forms for surgery and anesthesia. A nurse will check your vital signs, start an IV, and complete the ADMIT assessment. A certified registered nurse anesthetist will discuss the risks and benefits associated with the various anesthetic options, as well as any complications or side effects that may occur. They will evaluate your health history as well as medications you are taking, allergies, 
and laboratory test results. Given this information, as well as the type of surgery you are having, they will determine, with your input, the best type of anesthesia for you. Anesthesia is extremely safe and serious side effects are very rare. The most common side effects of anesthesia are nausea and vomiting. Pain can be controlled by both IV and oral medications. Although you will experience post-operative pain, your discomfort should be tolerable. An IV will be administered. You will then be transported to the operating room. Once sedated, a urinary catheter will be placed. The skin over your surgical site will be cleansed with an antiseptic solution. A hemovac drain will be placed in your incision during the surgery. This drain helps to remove blood or other fluids that may build up in the surgical site. Following your surgery, you will be given extra oxygen and your breathing and heart functions will be closely monitored. The nurse will provide pain medication as needed. Your vital signs will be closely monitored. Your pain level will be assessed and you will receive pain medications as appropriate. If you had a total knee replacement, you will have a bulky dressing on the operative knee, as well as a cooling unit and a knee immobilizer. These will help decrease pain, swelling, and inflammation. If you had a total hip replacement, you may have a foam wedge secured to your legs to keep your hip in its optimal position. You may have a small bottle with numbing medication in it for your regional block. Following recovery, you will be taken to a regular hospital room. A respiratory therapist will assess your oxygen needs at least twice a day. It is common for patients to need supplemental oxygen for several days following surgery. Central Valley Medical Center is a non-smoking facility. If you smoke, inform your doctor and he or she will prescribe a nicotine patch for your stay. If you currently use a CPAP, or BiPAP at home for sleep apnea, it is recommended that you bring in your own machine from home for your hospital stay. Physical therapy will be an important part of your stay at the hospital. You will participate in an accelerated program directed by Dr. Holman and the therapists. A morning and afternoon session of physical therapy and occupational therapy will be performed daily. On day one of your surgery, patients will be helped out of bed and assisted into a standing position. They will walk approximately 30 feet with a front wheel walker as tolerated under the close supervision of a therapist. Therapy will check to see if the muscles are working correctly and give the patient instructions for proper body positioning. On day two, warm-up exercises will be performed. Knee range of motion will be performed to help you bend your knee and to get your knee fully straight. Walking with a front wheel walker without a knee splint will be performed if possible. Also, exercises for arm strengthening and endurance training will be performed. On day three, expect therapy two times a day. A bulky Jones bandage, which helps with compression, will be removed and your incision bandage will be changed. Walking and exercises will be performed two times. Afternoon session this day may include extended walking instruction and possible stair training. Your catheter will likely be removed on this day. Occupational therapy will assist with dressing activities and other grooming activities to help you become more independent. On day four, walking and exercises will be performed as in prior days. On this day, the patient may be discharged if safety, medical, and functional standards are achieved. For safety precautions, you must have the hospital staff present for all of the following, getting in and out of bed, bathroom and showering activities, and any standing activities. Your physical therapist will notify you when you are allowed to perform these tasks. Criteria for going home includes being medically healthy, being able to transfer in and out of bed and in and out of the bathroom, able to walk at least 100 feet, and you must have help available at home 24 hours a day. Occupational therapy will focus on your ability to complete activities of daily living, 
which include dressing, grooming, transfers to the toilet and shower, home skills, and other tasks you may need to do at home safely and independently. Our goal is to make the transition from the hospital to home as smooth and as safe as possible. There are several stages we refer to during your rehabilitation process. One is the acute stage. During this time, most health insurances, including Medicare, offer an acute hospital stay of two or three days after hip or knee surgery. During this period, the nursing staff will be available to assist you with pain management, nausea, safety, nutrition, and hygiene. Your attending physician will visit you and review your care each day. Upon discharge, you will likely begin outpatient physical therapy the next day. If you are unable to leave your home safely, home health services will be initiated. Occasionally, additional rehabilitative services may be necessary, extending your hospital stay. Our discharge planning team will work closely with your insurance provider to make the necessary arrangements for your stay. Once you have progressed and returned to an acceptable level of functioning, you will be discharged to go home. At this stage, you can take care of your activities of daily living for the most part on your own or with sufficient help. Follow-up appointments may be scheduled. You no longer need care at the hospital level and your physician has given an order for your release. A nurse will review your medications and discharge instructions with you prior to your departure. An important part of this process is the Coumadin Clinic. After having a joint replaced, you are at increased risk for a blood clot. Following surgery, your doctor will prescribe a medication to prevent blood clots. You will need to take this medication two weeks following surgery for a knee replacement and four weeks following surgery for a hip replacement. To keep you safe, you will need to have regular blood tests while you are taking this medication. Upon discharge from the hospital, a nurse will individualize your follow-up and monitor this for you. Remember, much of your success after surgery depends on your commitment to fully participate in the rehabilitative process. Best of luck, and we look forward to working with you at Central Valley Medical Center.